Good afternoon, financial professionals. Abby Fletcher here of E4 Insurance Services, welcoming you to The Brew, building relationships every week. Thanks for tuning in today. For those of you joining The Brew for the first time, welcome. We like to start The Brewcast by celebrating today's national day for December 8th. Today is National Brownie Day. That's right, folks. Today we are encouraged to celebrate this fudgy baked good. Brownie recipes have been found dating back to 1904, and the brownie's sibling is called a blondie, which is a brownie made from brown sugar instead of cocoa. So whether your brownie comes from a box or a bakery, enjoy. Today is Brownie Day. Today on The Brew, as part of our advanced planning series, we have Lisa Quist, who serves as Regional Vice President of Nationwide's Land as Your Legacy program. Today, Lisa will share more about Nationwide's commitment to the farming community and a glimpse of how this program and its dedicated planning helps family, farms, and ranch owners transition their business to the next generation. E4 is a premier provider of this program, and we've created many success stories within the egg community in partnership with our friends at Land As Your Legacy. So as you can imagine, we couldn't wait to have Lisa on the brew. Feel free to use the chat box down below while Lisa is live. I'll be looking out for your questions and comments. Also, all attendees are in a drawing for a prize and we'll be announcing the winner shortly. Thanks for tuning in. And without further ado, Lisa, welcome. The mic is yours. Thank you so much, Abby. I appreciate that. And brownie day, you can't go wrong with brownies. Must be my favorite dessert in the world. I have even told my family that someday at my funeral, I want them to serve just brownies and nothing else. So literally my favorite dessert ever. So I love brownie day. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining this training. Today, we're going to be talking about the Land is Your Legacy program. Um, this is my contact information. So go ahead and take a picture of it or take a screenshot of it. Otherwise, I'm sure um, Abby and Danielle will send this out to you afterwards so that you're able to get in contact with me. I um, live in South Central Minnesota. I cover a territory across the whole Central United States. In fact, today I'm coming to you from my motel in College Station, Texas, um, where I'm down here working this week. So um, excited to be with you when they reached out to me and asked me to do this. I was super excited to be asked. So without further ado, um, we're going to get going. I'm going to start by just telling you a little bit about myself and um, what my story is, what my history is. So I, I'm brand new to Nationwide. I started in June, um, but I am not new to the Land is Your Legacy program. So before I came to Nationwide, I worked at the Farm Credit in Minnesota, and I ran their life insurance and transition planning departments. While there, we had five different transition planning partners that we worked with, and Land is Your Legacy was one of them. So when this opportunity became available, the person before me got promoted internally. Um, I reached out within about 24 hours. I didn't want to look too desperate, but I reached out within about 24 hours and started the conversation and said, hey, when you're ready to hire, I am super interested in this role. So I know a lot about the program. I've been working with it for about five, four or five years. Prior to coming to the farm credit, however, I farmed in South Central Minnesota with my husband for 12 years. And uh, we were the seventh generation to run that family farm and ended up selling out in 2012 due to lack of a transition plan. So this is work that I come by very honestly. It is something I am hugely passionate about. Um, I am married to a man who knew that he was going to farm from the time he could walk and talk. And when you are then selling out from that operation, um, it changes everything about your life. There's nothing about our life that's the same today as it was in 2010 when we were still full-time farming. Um, so if I can prevent that outcome for someone out there, um, that is what where my heart is and why I want to be doing this work. It's very, um, very near and dear to me. So this is the disclaimer Nationwide requires me to put out before I talk to anybody. The short story is I am not an attorney or a CPA, and I am not going to be giving tax or legal advice. There is so much opportunity in the egg community when it comes to transition planning. Statistically, we're told that there are over 2 million family farms in the United States, and our nation's farmers are 
uh, on average 57 and a half years old and getting older. And the USDA tells us that 29% of family farms have a transition plan in place. I personally don't agree with that number. I think it's actually a lot lower. So 29% is shockingly low. I think it's a lot lower. And the reason I think that is because if somebody had asked my father-in-law, do you have a transition plan in place? He would have said, yep, I sure do. What he had was a will. He does not, a will is not a transition plan. That is not, it's part of an estate plan, but it is not a transition plan that's talking about how you're going to change this business from hand to hand. Um, so my husband has nine brothers and sisters. They're all married. So that's nine brothers and sisters and nine brothers and sisters in law. None of them farming except for the two of us. And all my husband's father had was an I love you will which if you're not familiar with that term, that means that his will stated, all my assets should be um, divided equally upon death. So we were running 1200 acres, uh, corn and soybean operation, and there were 10 kids that were gonna divide this among. So if you do the quick math, that means we would have gotten 120 acres. And that means we have 1,080 that we're gonna need to finance so that we can buy out his siblings. Um, there is not a loan officer in the universe that's going to loan you the money to buy 1,080 acres if you own 120. It just doesn't work. So my father-in-law has not passed away. He's still living. Uh, but we saw the financial handwriting on the wall and decided we were unwilling to take that risk for our family, um, that financial risk. We didn't want to be in our mid-50s and have the rug pulled out from us underneath us then. So lots and lots of opportunity out there. And if a client tells you, yep, we have a transition plan, ask another question or two, because maybe they're like my father-in-law where they think they have a transition plan, um, but what they have is a will, which isn't enough to transfer a farm in today's legal and tax environment. So today we're going to talk briefly about why Nationwide is doing this work, how it works, and how it helps preserve family farms, and then your opportunity with this program. So just a little bit of overview of Nationwide. We were founded in 1926 by the Ohio Farm Bureau. So we've always been run by farmers, started by farmers, run by farmers for farmers. Over half of our board members are active farmers to this day, always have been and still are to this day. And back in 2010, one of our board members who was one of our active farmers was farming with his brother and his brother was killed in a farming accident. And he came to the next board meeting and he said, look, I sit on the, on the board of the largest insurer for farms and ranches on the property casualty side in the United States. What are we doing to help our clients with this, with this issue that they all have in front of them? We need to figure something out. And that's where the idea for Land is Your Legacy was born. We are very proud to say that in those 10 years, we now have helped over a thousand families to write a transition plan for their farms to make sure that that farm is able to transfer to the next generation. So one thing that I like to bring up to um, on calls like this is Nationwide not only has the Land is Your Legacy program, which incidentally, um, E4 is a premier and preferred provider of the Land is Your Legacy program. For those of you who are on this call, if you're interested in becoming, you do need to go through training in order to be able to offer this to your clients. So if you're interested in going through the training, um, reach out to Abby or Danielle at E4 and they will get you in contact with me in order to get that training scheduled. So I just like to throw that out there that there is a training that's required. You do need to be approved as the advisor um, but being part of E4 obviously is going to help with that, and then we'll get you trained. But even if you're not doing a full Land is Your Legacy program, if you're working with clients that are, that are involved in the egg industry in any way, doesn't have to be an active farm or ranch operator, maybe they run a seed business or a chemical business or um, you know, something along those lines. Maybe they do custom harvesting. Um, we have preferred underwriting for people who are involved in the ag industry. And that covers two different topics. The first one is if they chew tobacco, but they do not smoke cigarettes, or if they smoke 12 cigars or less per year, we will give them a non-tobacco rating. Um, so that's a huge thing in the agriculture community. There are a lot of people involved in ag that do chew tobacco, but don't necessarily smoke cigarettes. 
Um, the other thing that we have is we have a preferred build chart. So we understand that if you're doing physical labor all day, every day, you may not fit into the standard build charts that most life insurance companies have. So this is applicable to any client um, that's looking for life insurance that has a connection to the egg industry and their spouses. So just so you know that, and then it is one or the other. If they, if they chew tobacco and they need the build chart help, um, we're going to give them one or the other, usually the non-tobacco, because that usually helps their premium the most. So good information to have. And then partnering with Nationwide has its advantages to you. Um, we do have a very recognizable brand. As I said, we are the number one insurer on the property casualty side of farms and ranches in the United States. We have a lot of competitive, diverse products for insurance that you can use with your clients. We have relationships across the ag industry that, that can be leveraged um, in this partnership. And when you have a case ready to submit, we're going to support you through the whole thing, whether that's um, having a seminar or looking for professional consultation. We're going to make sure that we are giving you the resources that you need to be successful with these plans that we're doing for clients. And I, I always want to hit on what are the five key things that we're talking about with clients. Um, these are the five key topics that we will address with the Land is Your Legacy plan. And we recommend that clients go through them in order from top to bottom. Often, if you ask a client, do you have a transition plan? And they say yes, but they fall in that percentage that doesn't actually, like I was referring to with my father-in-law. What they might have is an estate plan. They might have a will or a trust or something like that, but they don't really have a transition plan. So we recommend starting at the top and going through these items in order. So the first one on the top is succession planning. And what we're talking about when we talk about succession planning is really the soft side of transition planning. So that could be talking about the hopes and the dreams of generation one. What do they want this farm to look like in 20 years? Which of their kids do they want to come back and farm? Which of their kids are interested in coming back and farming, if any? Um, which of their kids has the management ability to come back and farm? So that's what we're gonna talk about first. It's typically the most difficult part of the conversation and it can be the longest part of the conversation. There's a lot of decisions that need to be made for a successful transition plan to help. And a lot of farmers are really, really, really good at working in their business. They're not always the best at working on their business. Taking that time away from the outside work that needs to get done every day and doing the office work that, you know, they're experts at their farm. They're not necessarily experts at the paperwork, um, but there's a lot of paperwork that goes into a successful trans transition plan. So it can, the succession planning part can take some time to get that done. But once we've gotten through that, um, we, you know, we have a great direction of where they want this to go. When we've finalized those decisions, the next thing we look at is business planning. And what we refer to when we're talking about business planning is, okay, so you told me that you're running, say, a 750 acre farm in Minnesota. Um, you know, for mom and dad, if the prices are good, that's a pretty good living. But if you then tell me, and we have four kids, and we want them all to come back and farm. Well, 750 acre farm in Minnesota cannot support five total families, mom and dad and four kids. So we need to look at and say, um, just because this is your hopes and dreams, the business part of this may not actually jive. So what do we need to do? Um, do we need to add more land? Do we need to diversify? Or maybe we just need to have the hard conversation that says this just is not financially feasible. We need to make a different plan. The third thing that we look at is risk management. So it's no secret that, like, that uh, Nationwide is a life insurance company and life insurance is often a component of a transition plan. It can help to fund a buy-sell agreement. It can help with the state equalization, which is super important to many generation one farms and ranchers. But we're not just here to sell a big life insurance policy and then disappear. We really are here to be the client's coach through this whole process. And if you do become a trained advisor, we ask that you walk with your client through this whole process, start to finish. We're going to give them the, the blueprint and the roadmap. Um, but if they don't 
implement anything from that blueprint or roadmap, they're no further ahead. They've actually just wasted a bunch of time. They need to actually implement what is in the blueprint. Um, and we're really asking you as those advisors to walk with the clients and make sure that they're getting that all implemented the way it needs to be in order for them to have the protection they think they, they, think they have. So we're not just here to sell a big life insurance policy. We are gonna look also at disability insurance. We're gonna look at long-term care insurance, which can be a very large key component for many farm, family farm operations. And we'll even look at their property and casualty insurance. So um, if, they will get, if they give those documents to us as part of the process, we're gonna look through that and make sure that their property and casualty is covered and that they have the coverages that, that they need in order to properly insure their farm and ranch. We will also look at if they've set up LLCs or trusts, a lot of people come to us and they've done a little bit of the work. They haven't really done all of it, but maybe they've set up an LLC or maybe they've set up a trust. It is absolutely shocking how often somebody has set up an LLC or set up a trust, but then never actually transferred the deed or the title into the correct name. So they have this LLC set up, but it's not really giving them the protection they think it is because they haven't moved their assets into it. So we're gonna check that as well. The fourth thing we're gonna look at is financial independence, which is making sure that as mom and dad, we know they don't typically retire, um, but as they move more into that mentorship role of their older years, where they're hopefully helping to train the next generation to take over the management, that they can have the resources they need to move into that mentorship role without being such a drain on the farm that generation two is not able to make this their full-time living if that's what they're looking to do. So we wanna um, separate out mom and dad's income from the farm as much as we possibly can. And the fifth thing then that we get to, we say that once you've done steps one through four, you have earned the right to then work on your estate planning. So that's getting your documents in order. It's your wills, your trust, your LLCs, things like that. And at this point, it's important for me to share that Nationwide does not charge the client for this service. We provide the blueprint as a complimentary service to our clients. That doesn't mean there's no cost to it. There is a tremendous cost to Nationwide. Um, I don't work for free, um, although I might. I love my job so much, but don't tell my boss. If you do, I'll say you lied. But um, the, when I was working at the farm credit, we, would, we had five different partners that we worked with at the time, and I would see plans going out the door very similar to Nationwide's with price tags anywhere from $2,000 to $30,000 or $35,000 or more just to get the roadmap. That doesn't include the work that the attorney needs to do, the work that the CPA needs to do. That's just to get the roadmap. So I would hold Nationwide's plan up next to anybody that's doing that, that work and charging that kind of money for it. We're really looking to take away any roadblocks that there might be so that we can make sure that farmers and ranchers are getting this work done. Um, we are the largest insurer of farms and ranches in the United States, and we want to make sure that there are farms and ranches for us to insure in the future. And if we're not helping with this work, the concern is that they're just going to get all eaten up by the large corporations, and then all of a sudden we've lost a whole line of business. Um, so we do not charge anything for that. However, there is a charge for the clients when it comes to implementation. Um, they're going to have to go to the attorney. They're going to most likely have to go to the CPA. Those things obviously are going to insur ins um, incur a cost. It's just getting the plan from Nationwide does not. Then I wanted to show you, this is our... Um, the top two people on that screen, Mike Lauer and Brian Tribble, sit on my team. They're in the Columbus, Ohio home office. And those are the two planners that are actually putting the plans together for you. Um, behind them are people on our advanced consulting group. They're all attorneys and CPAs. There's a total of 16 of them. But the six that you see on your screen, on the lower half of your screen, are actually 100% committed to agriculture. They have agriculture backgrounds. They all have specialties and all they're doing all day, every day is talking to clients, talking to advisors like yourself and um, doing educational, um, educational webinars or presentations around transition planning specifically towards agriculture. And as an advisor, you have access to these people. So even if you're not doing a land as your legacy uh, plan, and you have a question, maybe a client has a question that you don't know the answer to, or there's a, an interesting situation that you just want some guidance on, you can pick up the phone and call that advanced consulting group. 
and they will direct your call to the one that has the experience and the specialty specific to the question that you have. So it's a fantastic resource. And again, whether you're doing a land as your legacy program or not, you can always ask those questions. And even if it's a question that doesn't have to do with agriculture, you can get connected to one of the other 10 that are on the advanced consulting group that aren't on your screen, but they're there doing the exact same work. I always like to show this. This is my favorite marketing piece that Nationwide has put together. We call it our client guide. And what I like to point out on this client guide is we have this list on the right side of your screen. Um, it's kind of a checklist, if you will. It, I'm sure it's too small for you to probably read what's on there. Um, but what, what I advise my advisors to do is to give one to the husband and one to the wife, have the husband um, order his most important from one to 10 and have the wife list her most important from one to 10, but they do it independently of each other. And you'd be surprised how often wife's number one doesn't even make it onto husband's list or husband's number one doesn't even make it onto wife's list or maybe it's number eight, nine or 10. It's a great way to start that conversation with clients and get them thinking. And we only ask them to number 10 of them or five. You can pick whatever number you want, eight, whatever. Um, but they're going to read through the whole list and it, it just starts the conversation and helps them understand how complex this is and how many things they really do have to decide in order to have a successful transition of their farm. So this is my number one favorite piece. I've asked, actually asked for it to be pulled out onto its own piece of paper. So that it's just one single piece of paper that I can share with advisors. But for now, it sits in this client, um, in this client guide. And that is a brief overview of the program. I almost got it done in 15 minutes. Not quite, I'm a little bit over. <laughs> if I hadn't talked so much about the brownies, we probably could have gotten it done in 15 minutes. But um, these are two websites that are really, really good for you guys to look at and bookmark. The top one um, is built specifically for financial advisors and the bottom one is built specifically for clients. So if you're looking for more information, these are the two websites for you to go to. There you go. Thanks, Lisa. Bravo. I understood everything. Good, good, Thank good. you. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the audience? Well, Abby, I just want to take a moment to thank Lisa and thank Nationwide. Um, I've been uh, certified in this program, trained in the program, and had, had some very good success over the years in working with farm clients, working with advisors, and walking through the blueprint. We love love the, the focus that Nationwide has on this, and they, they're just such a great partner. So, Lisa, I just wanted to thank you very much from E4 Insurance Services. Yeah, thank you for inviting me, Sam. I'm happy to do it. Thanks, Dan. Any other questions or comments from the audience? Hearing none, I'm also going to thank you, Lisa. We learned something today, advisors, that an I love you will does not constitute a transition plan. So I think that's worth repeating, and you did a really great job highlighting that, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah. Also, uh, Lisa's brew today will be put up on our YouTube channel. So if you were interested in some of the slides or even the client guide that she referenced, this will all be located on Brew's YouTube channel. So now for the drawing, Lisa, I'm going to have right. you choose a number between one and 11. One and 11. You know what? I'm going to go with 11 because I feel like the highest number never gets picked. So 11. Going with it, going with it. Who's the winner? Who's the winner? Adam Thielen, congrats, sir. Be on the lookout for a coffee card and some complimentary nationwide CE coming your way from all of us here at E4 Insurance Services. Thanks for dialing in. Also, be sure to tune in next week. We're going to have E4's very own Doug Twitty talking about vitality, an insurance plan that rewards you for your good health. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Thanks, Lisa.